Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial. Today we're going to look at headers and footers. This video was recorded in March 2021 using Visual Studio 2012. So on screen I've got a, a basic report that I've been working with the last couple of videos. It's got a, um, a filter with a default at the top, a drop down filter, and it's got um, the data on the main report. That's all very well, but what I want I think is um, I want it to, to be a little bit more presentable so I want a nice header I want some sort of banner at the top um, and maybe a footer that says the page numbers or, or some such so if I go back to design um, this this whole area here is our report area and I can make it bigger and smaller um, if I right click on the area and I choose insert which I did in the very first video when I inserted a table there's other options here to insert. Um, one of those options here is header. So if I click on page header, you'll see this pops up here. And this is going to appear at the top of every page of your report. So maybe I want to put in here, um, I don't know, company logo or something. So I'll right click, I'll choose insert, and I can choose image. Uh, I come down here to use this image, I choose import. Um, now, this immediately will ask, will look for JPEG um, files. So maybe if, if your file isn't a JPEG, you've got to drop down here to choose different options in the file I'm looking for is a PNG. So I'm going to click OK on that. And I click OK. Uh, and I can position it, I can move it about nice at the top left. Then I'm going to click, right click and choose insert and I want to insert a text box. Oops, I didn't want to do a line. Insert a text box. And I want to put some text in here. So I can I can just click on the text box and it then allows me to start typing. So I want it to be the name of my report. Introduction report. Now this text box works in the same way as these cells here, so I can click on it and I can make things bigger, bold it, maybe change the colour of it, like we've looked at. Um, I don't know which colour, sorry, at the top. So I'll make it the dark blue. Okay, that's uh, looks okay at the minute. Now let me let me then um, just close this up. I'm gonna add a footer. So we'll go to insert. I'm gonna add a footer. Now maybe um, I don't know. As, a, as, a, as an example, there we'll just insert a text box and we'll just put something in there like um, uh, copyright my company. You can resize these things. So obviously, I've got more words on there, so I'll just resize it. Um, I'd actually probably make that a little bit smaller, um, and I'll just I'll just tuck it away down here. Now, if I run my preview my report, we should see these changes that I've just made. Okay. Now, um, if I go back to design. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring this up here because all this white space kind of matters. Now, if I re preview this again, you'll see that the foot is a little bit higher now, a bit more tucked into the rest of the report. So this, all of this space here matters. This space that you set up here um, has an effect on the on the output of the report. So it's better to be as tidy as you can be. Also, now that you've got more objects on here, so it's not just a table, we've suddenly got this image, we've got this text box and this text box. As you start moving objects about, there is um, a way that, that Visual Studio and SSRS, as you move things about, it pins them to other objects that are in, in like within um, in the same line as them. So that's quite good. As I move this about, it'll pin to the edge of this here, or it'll pin to the back edge of this here which is quite a nice way of getting things lined up. And then I'll just tuck in this little bit here and I'll tuck that in a little bit here. 
Okay, so the report um, is looking a little bit better. Let us think about um, when you print the report, when you preview the report here, like this, or when you look at it when it's when it's kind of published, you'll see that um, you can see the, the the filter that you've selected at the top here. So if I choose to view the report, you can see HR01 here. However, it doesn't show on the report anywhere apart from possibly in that column there. So what you might want to do is you might want to say, all right, uh, I'll create a, a text box. And I want to say, um, department selected it just make it as big as that. Um, I'm going to make it size 9, but we're going to copy the same color. Department selected. Um, and now I need to get the value of um, of my parameter, whatever is selected. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this back a little bit. And I'm going to create another text box. And put it alongside that one. And if I right click this text box, I've now got an option of expression. And if I choose expression, I get a new box that pops up. And in this box, here at the top is where you're going to start typing your expression. And down here are the options that you've got. What I want to do here is I want to say, where it says department selected, I want it to show the value of my parameter that I've got selected in my report. So here you've got parameters. And here you've got P department. So if you have more parameters, they'll all be listed here. But P department is the one we're interested in. And if I double click that, at the top here you see it's got parameters, which is the object, the category, um, exclamation mark, P department dot value. If I click OK. And if I now, oh, now I want to make that same size, same color. Now if I preview that, Department selected FN01. That's quite nice. So let's just go back to here. Now in our footer, let's think about adding a bit more information. So insert text box. Now I want to right click on the text box and I want to choose expression. So now we've got uh, here, we've got built in fields, page numbers, um, user ID, report name, which I could have used at the top, overall page number total page numbers so i'm just going to put page number see how that goes so the built-in fields they're called globals globals um exclamation mark page number so let's see how that looks i'm going to make it size eight page number one um, so what I want to do is I want it to be left justified, so let's just try and force that. There you go, page number one. Let's try and um, mess about with that a little bit more. So if I go back to expression, um, our built-in fields here, we've got page number and then we've got uh, total pages. Let's just change that. Now we can we can type up here. We can start typing um, Globals exclamation mark and then you get these options here um, and I'm interested in total pages. Let's have a look at that And I think that should just say one for preview that Because we only have one page. Yeah, okay. So I wonder if we can do this. If we right click this Oh Here we should be able to say built-in fields, page number, and then of, let's try that. So now, because it's no longer a single field um, expression, because it's, it's a little bit more, we've, we've concatenated some data, it, it, should, it just becomes this uh, default EXPR. Let's see if that works.
it might not just because numbers don't concatenate so well sometimes yeah okay so that's an error um so we need to the reason it's is because this is a number and this is a string and this is a number so that's the reason why it's um that's the reason why it doesn't like it but there's ways we can get around that um so if I go to common functions conversion so this here in common functions conversion we've got this thing called c, c, CSTR which converts to a string so I should be able to say CSTR and CSTR and I click OK and let's just try that, see if that works. Brilliant. So let me just go through that again quickly, this expression here. When you are concatenating to make a longer bit of string, you can't do number letters numbers because the concatenation method is this plus here. So if you've got a number, then you've got a plus next to it. You, you automatically think that's going to be a mathematical formula rather than concatenating uh, text so you've got to convert this number to be a string which is where this CSTR comes in so all of a sudden that isn't the number one it's text one it's going to be added to space of space and then text one again something very important when you're writing or using these um, these functions they are case sensitive so if I did that and I tried to run it, it would fail because it doesn't know what C little str is, it knows what C big str is. So if I click OK and anyway, run that, that will run fine. And the one last thing, the thing that I should have done, uh, what I'll do is I'll replace this. So as much as you can, you shouldn't have anything hard coded. Um, so if I get rid of that and I right click and choose expression our built-in fields and our report name. Now if I preview that. So it shows the same, but if I were to change the name of my report, that would automatically change. That's the end of this video on headers and footers. Um, any comments or feedback would be appreciated if you if you enjoyed it if it worked for you then a thumbs up would be appreciated as well um thanks so much for watching see you next time